Bam. You know, guys, yesterday, yesterday I made a video and I had to work to catch fish. Oh, I caught some. It was work. You know what I'm saying? Y'all been there. Y'all been there where you, you fish hard just to catch catch some. And you're like, wow, it's first cast today. <laughs> Maybe it's Friday and they know that, but hey, we're supposed to eat on Fridays. Um, fishing changes from day to day. And I'm, I mentioned that for a couple reasons because we, you know, a lot of y'all we check check back and forth with each other. Hey, I'm catching some. I caught a few. That's a nice fish. Changing color a little bit, ain't there? All right, guys, I got a color I'm playing with here. Stop at a couple fish here, guys. They're on an old piece of cement from a bridge. There's about six, and one of them rolled up and grabbed the first cast. Here's a school of shad. All right, and I, that's another thing, guys. Let me add one more thing here. Sometimes I know my videos get too long, but I'm trying to share something with you I'm learning. We're talking to, to about three or four different fishermen this week about catching crappie. All right, some of them have said, hey, I'm finding, I'm finding a few crappie shallow. Okay, I had, I've had guys in other states tell me that now. I'm finding a few crappie shallow. I've looked around yesterday, and I, have, I, I did find some that were in, uh, were in a tree that was in 12 foot of water, a standing tree, but they were small. I think right there what you just seen, that school of shad, if you can find some shad or bait fish, we got we got wall um oh white we got blueback herring here too. If you can find something like that, schools of them, and those shad, especially during early morning like this, it's a little bit after seven, and those shad run up on a flat at the mouth of a creek and the crappie are feeding on them, they go to school travel with that refrigerator. As long as that refrigerator door is open, they go travel with it for a little bit, right? That's that's a great opportunity to catch some uh, crappy shallow when they when they're chasing bait fish. I think once that ends, they're going to go to wherever their daily places they like to stay. If it's a stump in 12, 14, 16 foot, or a treetop, or here we have so many boat docks, the crappy just go to the boat docks. It's hard to find them right here now on uh, stumps and stuff. But hey, we're going we're going to spend some time. We might do that tomorrow. We're going to spend some time trying to find some fish offshore, okay? Because usually I just go out and fish docks, why? Because it's easy, it's easy. I can go find them on docks, I know that. Bam, all right guys, I, I'm gonna prove right here now what I just said uh, about crappy being shallow. I'm in seven foot of water, now, I've caught crappy here many a times. This is not a, this is not a fluke thing. That's why I came here. But uh, last time I was here, I caught fi fish here. This is a deep spot where it drops off. And it comes up to comes up to about seven foot. On a, it's number six hooks. I'm gonna tell you. That's a nice fish too, guys. It comes up to about six or seven foot, and it's a uh, stump there. Now, let me, let me tell you something what I'm doing. The color I'm throwing, guys, is called mine dust. Yeah, mine dust. Now, I have mine dust in the willow tail. Uh, I think I've got a couple other baits, but I've got a few different baits. <clears throat> I was making some willow tails this week, first of the week, in mine dust because I was low on that color. <clears throat> and I thought, let's shoot the Tadpole Jr. LC Shad. Uh, I actually know I almost forgot what I was talking about. I know what I was doing now. <laughs> Guys, I've been so busy this week. I work in the mornings. Big fish broke right here. I've been working in the mornings to like one o'clock. Then I've been working in the shop to five, six o'clock. I've been bagging baits at night. It's been nine, eight, nine o'clock at night before I'm done. And was every night this week. When I'm not editing videos. Yeah, I spend a lot of time, guys, for for YouTube and the bait business. Um, I mean what I was doing now, I was pouring, I was making the shop part for a port of catch. We got a port of catch coming up this Sunday with mine dust and the willow tail. And I said, let's shoot some in the Tadpole Jr. and the, and the LC Shad. Mine dust, wow, it's just smoke, black, silver, black, and red flake. Virginia Shad has a lot of blue highlight in it, and it's got chartreuse flake and blue flake at it. Mine dust is a lot of silver, a lot of gold, 
Okay, it's got gold in it. Because that's why it's mine dust, silver and gold, right? All right? And it just sparkles, guys. That's why it's called mine dust. It's like a diamond ring. And it does have a little bit of blue in it. I put blue in a lot of stuff because it's a natural color in the water, guys. I've seen some fish break here. Like I said, I've been fishing here. Look here. See how it's dropping? All right? And it drops straight off here. Look. No bottom. That's right. It drops straight off to about 18 foot. They come up on this ledge sometimes to chase shad when they come across this ledge. It's an old road bed. That's what it is, guys. Y'all have seen me fish it many a times. It's got a bunch of carp on it, too. I see carp kicking around here this morning. But it, it's a feeding place for crappie. Uh, I've caught them here probably six or eight times this year. I don't think I've ever been here, and there's not any here. Getting them to bite a whole different story. <laughs> but this morning, I said, that one hit as soon as it hit the water because they're chasing shad. All right, guys. Picked up another one. Damn. I might have to make this color in the Tadpole Junior. I've debated by making this color in Tadpole Junior and adding it, but I haven't done it because I have Wow. And Wow is a great color. If y'all fishing clear water, he been bit. Wasn't me, promise. Wow is a great clear water color if y'all have never used it. It's old, it's old time smoke, guys. Some of y'all older guys, my age, you remember we used to throw smoke a lot if you got if you're fishing clear water and grubs. When the grubs first came out, you could buy them in green pumpkin, pumpkin seed, and we used to buy smoke, right? With smoke and black flake. Then they had smoke, black and silver flake. Then they added blue one time. I think they called it bluegill. Uh, they were great, wasn't they, guys? All right, guys, I got close to these fish. See, a lot of those are sunfish. Those couple big spots are probably only crappy, and I just seen it. That's, that's a gar or something there on top, that big fish. And I just seen a big fish swim across the top of them. I don't know what it was. I, I got a notion it was a carp. But when that kind of stuff happens, when the big fish move into a school like that, they tighten, see how tight they are? Yeah, they tighten up like that and they're hard to catch. Now here's a couple of loners out here, but I don't think they're crappy. I'm gonna throw at them one time. I'm giving up on them. I give up on them like that's what I do. I run up on them just to see what I, if I can figure out what they are, the fish that are not biting. There was a few crappy mixed in here with them. Are they, and, and there still might be a couple there, but I might have hit the tail end of the feed uh, when they were chasing the shad. That's why I only caught a couple of them. Bam. All right, guys, y'all probably can hear the wind because I don't have my microphone in. My microphone's been making some noise, so I have been making a clicking noise sometimes, so I haven't been using it the last couple of videos. And what it is, it's not the microphone, it's the adapter. You gotta have an adapter on a GoPro to use a microphone. The adapter, I think, is, went bad. I gotta order one, they're 50 bucks. I'm still using the same color. Bam, get him out this post. Wow, you think you're a pig, don't you? Gosh, they fighting hard lately. Yesterday, they was the same way yesterday. They fought hard. I don't know what the water temperature is here. Uh, I'm sure they've been making current because it's cooler in the it's cooler back in the creek, wasn't it? 75. Water 75 here. Did somebody comment it yesterday? That's a nice fish, guys. Still in the same color. Mine dust. Uh, somebody commented yesterday that the water was 86 uh, on their lake. Wow, we get to if we go back in the coves. Back in the creeks. Now I'm on the main channel here, as y'all can see. I put my microphone in, guys. Uh, if you go back in the creek, I came out of that creek right there. That's, I put it in the Holly Grove Marina this morning. And if you go back to the back of that creek, it's gonna be 84 in that area. Sometimes we'll get, if we get a real hot spell, like 100 degrees, it'll get up to 86, but 82, 84. This channel here very seldom breaks 80 because they release current. It's 75 right now. And it can, if you go that way, it'll get cooler. If you go this way, it'll get warmer. Now this don't feel as big. It's not. That's why. That's what I was telling y'all. They mix in with the crappy a lot, especially like on that road bed, where I came off that road bed on that cement old bridge. And uh, usually I can tell the, the uh, body action of when the bait comes past them. Uh, if I can't tell the size. They pile up sometimes so many, it's hard really to pick them out. What I'm doing, guys, is getting my spot lock to hold me 
Look, the breaker's coming here. That's how bad it is. Yeah. It's rough. I'm getting my spot lock to hold me, and I'm fishing with the current, too. The wind current's going this way. If I throw from the front, it just tangles me up around the post when bait wants to go with the current. So I got on this side, and I'm trusting my spot lock. And believe me, you got to keep your eye on it. A couple, I done changed it three or four times because I look up, I'm inches from the dock. It will let you drift sometimes. Bam. Wow. Look, they're bending that rod. Hey, you that mean? <laughs> All right. I'm trying to keep the microphone noise out too, guys. He, he just that mean. Now he's decent fish, though. He's probably 11 inches. You know, I told my wife I was going to keep some for supper tomorrow morning when I go out. Whew. That's a nice fish right there, guys. Ain't nothing wrong with him. I would keep some today, but that gives me an excuse to go fishing tomorrow if I don't, if I don't keep any today. Like I said, oh yeah, and I told her I'd keep some Saturday morning. I wasn't planning on fishing today. Uh, I was working on a job, we doing a screen porch, and I ran out of materials. I said this Wednesday video, I ran out of the uh, PVC. It's just over a quarter inch stick that you put on the outside of the screen porch to hide the screen and make it look pretty and white. So I needed four more pieces and Home Depot didn't have it, so I had to order it. And it won't be in until tomorrow. So I thought, what am I gonna do the next two days? So, hey, here I are. Bam. All right, guys. It took me about three more, three or four more casts that time. They caught on to me. Ain't many there. When I spotted these fish, I noticed it wasn't but like 15. Uh, Y'all seen me fish this dock quite a few times. And I brought Sam to this dock in the video y'all watching today. And there was no fish here. This is one of the, I said, the first three places we went, we didn't find any fish. So... They move around, guys, that's for sure. That's a nice fish. He's right at 11 inches. Wow, can't believe that, guys. That's nice fish for this time of year. I can see them swimming back down toward that dock. I see how clear the water is. <laughs> now, let's say it's about two and a half foot. Uh, this is, I'm using a number six hook. This is a 132nd ounce. This is a number six for this Tadpole Junior. Uh, Y'all have seen me use the Tadpole Junior a lot. I know some of y'all thinking, man, Dennis, you using that tadpole junior all the time. Yeah, you know why? Because it's working. <laughs> it works, guys. Summertime, it works. The bug, I made a video yesterday with the bug. The bug's good this time of year. Uh, small baits have, seem to work best in the summertime, guys, when the bite's slow, okay? This color is called Mind Dust. You can't buy it in this body shape. You can buy it in the willow tail right now. But y'all let me know if y'all like it. And uh, if y'all like that color, Want some of them? I might be able to make about 10 bags of them or so and uh, get them on there. And I usually start with 15 bags of stuff. And I know I'm gonna add one more thing and we'll get off here. Uh, a couple people have asked me before when I said that 15. You only start with 15 bags? I thought you start with 100. Guys, I start with 15 bags. If, they, if, some, if, if in the first couple weeks, they don't, I've never sold out in a day. I've, I have sold out in a week or two weeks. When I see the numbers going down, I'll start making, I'll start making more, okay? If that's the color selling. But I have so many colors. I've got over 40 colors, and there's 17 body shapes. What's that telling you? There's a lot to pick from, and not one person jumps on there and one color sells that that fast, I'm telling you. So, it's no problem. And, there are colors that I have the original, that I made, I still have the original four, five, six bags, all right? There are some colors. So I'm not gonna mention those colors, but some of them will be gone. When they sell out, they're gonna be gone. I'm not gonna replace them. I know some of y'all might go, that's oh, my favorite color. I'm sorry, it's not selling. If I haven't sold, I know it's been two years on some of the colors, and I still have three or four bags of the first 15. You don't, you don't restock that color. Even, I don't care how good it is, you can't waste your time and money on something that's not selling. When you're in business, you can't do that, okay? All right, guys, and we just add new colors. We just add colors that y'all might want to fish with, all right? The clear colors, like like uh, this color, like Mind Dust, Virginia Shad, Blue Boy, uh, Live Bait, Dipstick, Shiny, uh, Flash, those are the colors 
that are selling the fastest. You know, the colors that are good for clear to a really light stain water. I mean, evidently, I don't have uh, not I don't have many customers that are using the colors like Sid, OJ, Brim. Now Donnie uses Brim and he uses some of those colors. He said he fishes nasty water. I know some of y'all do. But those are my slowest selling colors, okay? I sell more of the clear to light stain colors than I do anything. Hey guys, Dennis Fishing Lake Country, playing with the new color mine dust. Let me know what you think about it. That's why I make these videos, just to have fun with it. And I, and I took you with me to, along with me today to see how good this color worked in this body shape. And bam, y'all know the rest of the story. See ya.